welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be on this really simple but bold makeup look. I was watching Amra, my friend, or Amrezy as you guys may know her, on Snapchat, and she was wearing just a fierce wing and a bright red lip, and it was so stunning. That's one of my favorite looks that she does. I've always loved it when she does that. So it inspired me to make a video just doing the same thing, basically. I was inspired by her. Now that I finished it, it kind of reminds me of Selena a little bit also, which I love love. So if you guys are interested in this makeup look, then keep on watching. But first, I'm going in with foundation. It's the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. I'm using the shade Rich Tan. And I'm gonna stipple this on using a beauty blender. This foundation has a satin finish. It's kind of comparable to the finish of the Makeup Forever foundation, the HD. I'm not gonna be wearing eyeshadow today, so I'm, I know, I know. So um, this look is pretty simple, so I'm gonna run the foundation over my lids as well just to get rid of the redness. I look kinda bald, huh? Now we're gonna move on to concealer. I've been mixing these two concealers here. This is the Dior Skin Star Concealer in the shade 003, and this is the Age Rewind Concealer in Light Pale. So I mix them because this one neutralizes under eye darkness for me. And thanks, Katie, for ruining my video. As usual. This one brightens, so when I mix them together, it's like match made in heaven. So I'm first gonna apply this one. I'll just put most of the product where I have the darker circular, circular, the darker areas of my eyes. You guys know I use this for like that Kim K highlight that's, you know, been overdone. And then I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. You know, I'm facing straight to camera for you guys. I'm trying, because I know you guys always want me to do that. It's so hard for me. Mostly because I hold a mirror over here. Because if I hold it here, it's like in your face, so. I like to take the uh, rounder side of the beauty blender, where the one we use the foundation with, kind of go over the edges of that concealer to blend it so there's not just like a stark line of concealer there. So I'm gonna be setting my under eyes using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and this is my favorite brush at the moment for the under eye area. It's the Japanesque 915 brush. Dust over the under eye area with this brush, just cause it's so soft, it's perfect. I'm also gonna dust this over my eyelids because we put that foundation there. Strobing kit, look at that, from ColourPop Cosmetics. Um, I actually had dinner with them the other day and they gave me the two kits. There's one for light skin tones and there's one for dark skin tones. Um, I'm gonna use the one from light to medium today. Let me open it for you guys. This is what the light to medium one looks like. So you have like a really gold highlighter, more of a white highlight and then a blush color and there's also some lippy sticks in here as well. So I'm gonna be mixing the lighter and the golder one together. This one is Parasol, and this one is called Fanny Pack. I like to take this brush afterwards and kind of buff over my highlighter just so it smooths out the edges a little bit. It just gave a really subtle glow. Of course, you can add more or less if you want. Next, I'm using my Max Give Me Sun Bronzer, of course, my fave, and my MAC brush. This is the 135. I have been loving this brush for the bronzer just because it is really fluffy, but it's also pretty thin for a large powder brush, so you can really get into the cheekbones with it and also just blend all over the face with it as well. Got 
got to get my contour face on. And then you guys know, of course, I have to take it around the hairline as well. Next, I'm picking up Max Gold Deposit, and with the same brush, I'm gonna lightly um, apply that over where we applied the bronzer. This is just giving off like a really, really light layer of gold shimmer. So it looks very glowy. Then of course, I'm gonna apply my blush. This is by Japanesque and it's in the shade Velvet Touch. I'm using the same brush because brush just works for everything. Okay, so my audio cut out right about here, so I'm just going to voice over this part. Don't mind if my lips don't match what I'm saying. I'm taking the MAC 210 brush in my Inglot Gel Liner. So I really like this liner brush because it's thin and it gets in between the lashes. You want to make sure you coat all the surface space between the lid and the lashes here because you don't want to have any gaps. And you could also tight line for that as well. Then I'm going to take this Zoeva angled brush. This is a perfect eyeliner brush because it already has the shape of the wing. I like to create the wing with this brush. See how it has that slant? It's just going to do the work for you and I'll show you right here. So taking that slant, we're just going to create a line from the end of the lash line to the tail of the brow. It pretty much just does it for you. Then you want to flip the brush around and go back down to the lash line, creating a triangle. Boom, do you see that? I swear an angled brush will help you in this wing process if you have not tried that yet. Then of course you just wanna fill in the gaps with the gel liner. Now that I've applied my eyeliner, we're just gonna go in with some mascara. This is by Tarte Cosmetics. It is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. The lashes I'm going to be using today are these ones right here. They're by Coco Lashes and they're called Queen Bee. Compliments of Katie. They're pretty long, but fluttery. That is the lashes on. They're super like doe-eyed type of lashes. I'm now going to finish off the look with my lips. This is Cherry Lip Liner by MAC. It's one of my favorite red lip liners. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Right on top of that, I'm gonna be applying Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Serafine. Okay, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. I think it's Serafin. Serafin? I hope so, Serafin. I don't think it's Serafine. I think I pronounced that way wrong. That is the last step of the makeup look. Pretty simple, but still has a lot of Zhuzh. So that's it for the makeup tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I love this look. It's so simplistic yet so bold. So let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye. All right, guys. <laughs> what? Hold, please. Hello? Can you see my mustache? I'm filming, boo boo. Anything for Selena. Zhuzh. A lot of zhuzh. Just a little zhuzh. You want some zhuzh? Tell me I look like Selena. You look like Selena. Thank you.